Hello, mate. What you doing? Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this type before. I think I might have a... I'll have to consult my field guide for this one. Settle down, let me have a look. So he flicks out his tongue just like a real snake. Mm. Yeah, it is, it, they look different, but they are definitely a snake. I think it's a blackish blind snake, actually, which is a real common one. That dark black color. Yeah. And they've got this real pointy, like a spike on yeah. the end of their tail, which a lot of, a few other species do too, but it's really prominent on that, almost sharp. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't, doesn't sting or anything. I believe it is just a blackish blind snake, but I will double check. You get a few different ones and they're, yeah, hardly ever seen because they live under the ground. But with all this rain that we've had, mm. a lot of the burrowing snakes will um, come out because their, their burrows have just been flooded out. So this guy's pretty light sensitive. You'd be wondering what's going on with the light. Yeah. Um, we get one called the robust blind snake, which looks a bit like that as well, but it'd be much shorter and fatter, I'd imagine. So this is the more common one known as the blackish blind snake, but I will compare this video footage we're taking with my field guide and just double check yeah um but yeah if you see one of these they are perfectly harmless they're not venomous Good. um yeah. they don't even really bite like i don't they the mouths are very very tiny look at that tongue <laughs> yeah so it still sniffs around and the eye it does have tiny little eyes but they can't really see much yeah. um because they don't really need to because they live under the ground you're welcome to hold it if you want to yeah that'd be cool <laughs> are you? Yeah. Right. So the lovely folks have been happy to live in harmony with the snake, which is nice when people are willing to do that, because it is no more dangerous than a worm or anything like it looks like. Definitely doesn't need to be tarred with the same brush as a taipan or anything yeah, like that. So just goes to show that the word snake is a very broad term and not every Every snake that is a snake warrants that reputation. So, you, I hope you might even do it in front of us and burrow in. Would be nice. Otherwise, we'll just put put the bucket back over him. Here he goes. Wow. Making his way down, back under the ground. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty special. You know, these, all these animals are really, you know, just another creature doing their own thing. Even the dangerous snakes, they don't want to hurt anyone. No. They, they just want to be left alone to go about their business. And yeah, it's so fascinating because they're under there eating the ant eggs. And then I said the bandy bandy comes along and eats them. And yeah. it's just, yeah, it's a whole, whole world going under our feet that we just don't even... You just don't even think. That's awesome. So we'll just pop that back on top. Lovely. And the snake can go home. Welcome. Thanks for that. No.